Premiere Pro is like an extremely fast car. It comes with huge features that professional editors absolutely need. But those big features are not easy to control. It requires tons of experience, just like driving a sports car. That's why, as a beginner, you should consider using Wondershare Filmora, a Premiere Pro alternative, but so much easier to understand. And it comes with awesome features, which you will learn in this video. After opening up Filmora, just press the new project button and and boom, look at this beautiful interface. This is a free Premiere Pro alternative editing software and as you can see, this is extremely beginner friendly. This is both available on Windows and Mac by the way. Oh, and also on Android and iOS. Once you pop the hood of Filmora, you'll see lots of awesome features that Premiere users don't have. Wondershare, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. First of all, let's explore the interface of Filmora. In the top left window, you will be able to import your media. You can just drag and drop it like that. Now your files are in the project media tab. But let's take a look at global media. What happens when you drag some assets in here? Well, that asset will be saved globally, which means you will always see that asset no matter what project you're working on. Mind blowing. You can also download stock media in your videos or even generate your own. All of that inside an editing program. Can you believe that? The next panel is the video player where we can preview what's in the timeline. This again is super clean. Every beginner will understand how to use this. And what I love most is that if you press this button, the video scopes will open up. This is so much more efficient than in Premiere. It's unbelievable. Look at this beautiful timeline. Trimming clips is like heaven. They automatically snap so you don't have to ripple trim delete every single time. So efficient. But you can also disable this feature if if you want, but I'm gonna leave it on. Also, video playback feels extremely smooth. You don't need an RTX 4090 to edit with this software. And of course, the horizontal toolbar, it feels included in the timeline. Now, let's move on to the right panel. This is where you can transform the selected clip. This is comparable to Premiere's effect controls, but instead it's much easier to use. Creating a zoom animation is super simple. All you need to do is set a scale keyframe, move a little further in time, and then adjust the scale. If you then go to the timeline, you can adjust the keyframe animation. You just have so much control. I love it. In this panel, you'll also find the mask tools, AI tools, and animations. But more about that later. Color grading and speed ramping is also accessible from this panel. Now that we've gone through the basics of Wondershare Filmora, it's time to dive in some awesome features. First of all, multi-camera editing. All you need to do is select the footage in the media panel shot from multiple cameras. Then right-click your clips and choose create a multi-camera clip. If your clips have the same audio, Filmora will instantly synchronize them in one click. In the player panel, switch to multi-camera view and now you'll see all your clips on the left side. You can then easily start editing them by simply selecting the one you need. Then move forward in time and set a cut where you need one. Then select another clip and move forward again. Then set a cut again and so on. This is the best experience I've had with multi-camera editing and you should definitely give it a try. Let's move on to planner tracking. This is used to blur license plates or change billboards, add text to roads, whatever. All you need to do is select your clip and go to the video panel. Then under AI tools, find planar tracking. Enable it and choose the auto feature. All you need to do is select the area that needs to be tracked. That's done by dragging the points of your tracker. Let's try it with this license plate for example. Once that's done, simply click on start and let Filmora do its thing. Now wait a few seconds and now you can send a mosaic to your tracking data. This will blur your license plate. If you go in the timeline, you can see the mosaic effect right here. Click it and you can adjust the effect even more. For example, the type of blur you want on your license plate. This is awesome. You can even adjust the blur amount and the opacity and you can animate it. What more do you need? I mean, this feature doesn't even exist in Premiere. Next, it's time to do some speed ramping. This is a clip of a skater doing a trick. Now, I want the trick part to be in slow motion. To do that, make sure the clip is selected and go to the speed tab on top. Here you can simply change the speed of your clip. But of course, that's not what you want. Select the speed ramping tab. In here, you'll find a few speed ramping presets. You can play around with these or you can select customize. Here you can create your own speed ramping curve. Simply drag the first point to the moment you want the speed ramp to start. Then move the other one to the moment it needs to be at full speed again. Now use the middle point to decide how much the clip slows down. Look at how accurate this clip works. This is 
a hundred times better than Premiere. The main thing Pitch Toggle will make sure your sound doesn't go lower or higher in pitch, it just slows down. The AI frame interpolation will make sure your speed ramp will still look smooth even if you slow it down. Awesome! Time for AI masking. Let's say you want to mask yourself in Filmora. To do that, make sure it's selected and go to the video panel. In here you'll find the mask tab. You can choose between a few types of masks, for example, the smart brush. Literally all you need to do is draw inside the subject and poof. This is better than mask tracking or rotoscoping in Premiere and After Effects. Now afterwards, you have tons of settings you can adjust to your liking. You can even do mask tracking, which works extremely fast. Awesome! Now, another favorite feature of mine is the AI portrait cutout. With this one, you will be able to basically rotoscope yourself and to remove the background. All you need to do is select your clip and go to the video panel. From here, go to the AI tab again and find the AI portrait cutout. Now enable it and wait a few seconds. This is incredible. You can even add effects to your subject and guys, Filmora can play this back in real time. I'm genuinely impressed by this. Next, I want to show you the smart short clips feature. This will basically use AI to generate multiple short clips from a single long video. In the startup screen, you'll find the feature right here. Once you select it, this window will pop up. You can choose to upload a video or you can link one of your existing videos right here. Next you can choose your settings, then all you need to do is choose a template you like and click on generate. There you go, you've just saved a lot of time. But now what about transitions? Don't worry, in the transitions panel you'll find tons of transitions so you'll never need packs or anything like that again. You just click and drag your desired transition in between two clips and boom, there you go, it applies as easy as that. You can always choose one of the transition modes, that is just beautiful. Now, besides transitions, you have access to beautiful stickers. These are basically motion graphic animations, which are useful to remind your audience to subscribe. You can browse hundreds of them. All you need to do is drag them into the timeline like it's nothing. These look super professional. Now, motion tracking plus text. The next feature is called motion tracking and it works extremely well. Let's say I want to add text to my video and make sure it sticks to the driving car. Let's find a text preset first in the titles menu. Let's use the glow title. Then drag it on top of the clip and in the player panel you can double click it and then type whatever you want. For example, muscle car. Now in the timeline, select the car clip. Then again in the AI tools tab, make sure motion tracking is enabled. Then this box will appear. Make a selection, make a selection around your subject that needs to be tracked and then click on start. Once it's done, you can link an element from this drop down menu. Because your text layer lays on top of your video, you will find it back right here. There you go. Awesome! Next, the auto reframe feature. To access this, right click your video in the media panel, then choose auto reframe. And here, choose the aspect ratio and click on analyze. Filmora will then follow the subject and make sure the video fits perfectly in your aspect ratio. Awesome, right? Now, I'm sure you'll love the AI video enhancer. This one will literally change your video so it looks like it's shot with another device. It's just mind blowing, I can't believe this exists. You can even play around with the level to fine tune your clips. So next Next time, instead of zooming in to hide an object or something, try using this feature. No quality loss. And now it's time for something insane, and that is the AI music generator. You'll find it back in the audio tab and in here, find the AI music tool. All you need to do is describe the song you need, kinda like ChatGPT. Then click on generate and boom, it's that simple. Now this exact tool also exists for sound effects by the way, it's extremely simple to use and I truly recommend it. Now what I also love is the AI voice changer. If you have a clip of you speaking in the timeline, you can select it and then go to the audio tab. And here you'll find the voice changer. Here you can access multiple voice filters to give yourself a specific effect. It's kind of like building a house. If you want it to be beautiful and successful, but you can also change the character of your voice. It's kind of like building a house. If you want it to be beautiful and successful, I've had a lot of fun with this playing around and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun too. Now, besides that, you can also use the new AI voice enhancer. You'll find that back under the basic audio settings. Just enable it and play around with the clarity and beautification. It's kind of like building a house. If you want it to be No need to mess with EQs and compressors anymore. Just beautiful. So, Filmora is a straightforward and easy to use editing software. This is why you'll have an extremely quick learning 
learning curve, so you don't really need a lot of training. Just download it and start editing. There's also no expensive subscription, so yeah, that's a win-win. Filmora's AI tools like AI masking, planar tracking actually works a lot better than Premiere and After Effects. That alone is mind-blowing. It's accessible for everyone on all levels. Definitely click the link down below to try Filmora for free. Also, let me know what you think. Is it actually better than Premiere Pro? Let me know down below. Anyway, click the video right here on my left to learn more video editing tips from me. Thank you guys so much for watching.